If supporting Tinubu will take me to APC, so be it. Say, speedy be chieftain, Dane Bawala. <laughs> See, Nigerian politicians, they are jokers. These people can be funny. Anybody, when they trust them, you they trust them on your own. No? If you want to live long life, don't take any of their words serious. Because when they go shock you, you go get heart attack. Not be this the same person when they attack Tinubu left, right, and center, even last week here. So, what happened? Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. A chieftain of the opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, Dane Bowola, on Wednesday, said he is committed to playing his party to support the administration of President Bola Tinubu. Bowola, the campaign spokesperson for the Candidate of PDP in the 2023 presidential election, Atiku Abubakar, said he made no apologies for his position, adding that if his support for Tinubu will lead to his defection from the PDP to the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, so be it. Bawala, who met with Tinubu behind closed doors at the state house in Abuja on Wednesday, told correspondent, I told him, President, today, I am committing to play my part to support your administration. And I have no apologies to anybody, he said. APC is a party. President Bolatinbo is my motivation. If supporting him will take me to APC, so be it, he added. This one already go with that. Make una watch him. He don't move with this. Interestingly, in September 2023, Pawala described the 100 days in office of President Tinubu as uninvitable, calling on him to focus on building Nigeria rather than embarking on so-called diplomatic trips from photo shops. He said President Tinubu's administration was still governing in, po in, in poetry, in poetry adding that the administration had abandoned his manifesto of securing Nigeria to go on foreign troops for photo hopes. Bawala stated this in an interview with Arise News, adding that what the government had deemed as achievement can be seen by all as just over just over exaggeration, please pardon me, of that perception of what they call their achievements. Because in the last 100 days, if you ask a Nigerian, they will tell you that nothing has significantly changed in our lives. Speaking on the recent business trips that Tinubu took to India and Dubai, Bowala claimed that since the government had nothing to show domestically, going on foreign diplomatic trips was to curry the, the flavor and accolades of international space. He described the president's trip to India for the G20 summit as a global picnic, saying that not much was achieved at the summit due to the absence of both Russia and China. He also said that the meeting that President Tinubu, who went alone with Nigerian businessmen, held with the Various businessmen and investors in India did not result in definite conclusions. He said that those who made statements, but they were definite investments, were exaggerating and mentioning monies that could not be verified either by the investors themselves, either through a joint statement through their website, through their personal social media handle. Everything they said they secured as investment plan or promises could only be established by themselves. There is no one word from any investor in India that they actually committed to such. Mark what I am saying. In the next one year, you will see nothing from Dubai as per investment. You will see nothing from India as per investment because they are just 
photo hops and statement there are no space specifics there are no deliverables and there are no timelines you can only develop and make your country attractive when you focus on your domestic policies on national security interest and national interest of your country now it is contained in your manifesto you have abandoned that and you are on a foreign trip to use photo hops as evidence of either legitimacy or evidence of prosperity that cannot work he said this is the same person now trust and follow nigerian politicians at your own risk that is it at your own risk let 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 them be doing what they are doing hmm? let them be doing what they are doing tinubu knows how best to get his kings on chairs but unchecked France and Ruth are doing the main job, capturing and conquering with all the available tools. Just this simple handshake is a fortune that will turn the life of Bawala for good. If you know, you know, Tinubu knows the game. Hmm. Hungry men. Men with little faith. If you can't win them, you join them. And that, exactly, that is the kind of politics they play in Nigeria. If you can't win them, you join them. What a shame. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.